let's continue our look at adaptive immunity. Now remember, adaptive immunity tells you exactly what's happening with it. It's adapting, it's changing and improving as you get older. Again, you look back at N8, that part of the immunity does not get better, always responds in the same way, no matter when that is, but not with adaptive. Look at what you see under adaptive. <clears throat> Involves the ability to recognize, respond, and remember particular substances. You're not gonna see that with the N8, but the adaptive does. And again, what you see under adaptive immunity are your lymphocytes. Those are the white blood cells that give us this adaptive immunity. Now notice what stimulates adaptive immunity, antigens. If you look up the definition of antigen, it's probably gonna say, anything that stimulates an immune response. Generally what those are are proteins and usually foreign proteins, foreign meaning they come from outside the body. But notice <clears throat> when it comes to antigens, there are foreign and there are cell, two categories right there. Now again, almost all antigens will be of the foreign type. As a general rule, the only thing you want your immunity to respond to and destroy are things coming from outside of your body. So it makes sense that foreign antigens would come from bacteria, viruses, any other type of microorganism which could be harmful. You've heard probably about pollen and animal dander causing problems in some people with immunity. Feces off mites. Everybody's heard of food and drug allergies. Those are all great examples. <clears throat> but there also could be self antigens. Now here's where something comes from within the body and stimulates immunity. Now you generally do not ever want to see this happen because if it, is, if it does, it's probably going to give someone an autoimmune disease. But there is an exception to this. The only time you want your body to respond to self antigens are for tumors. Tumors are your own cells. Something goes wrong with the DNA <clears throat> and they no longer develop the way they should and they're replicating out of control, stuck in mitosis. So of course you need your body to destroy those and it almost always does. But at not any other time do you want to see that happen. Our thymus gland helps to ensure that we don't respond to self antigens, except when it comes to these tumors originating from inside of us here. It'll keep those lymphocytes as a general rule that respond only to foreign antigens, but of course those that'll destroy tumors too, and then hopefully not selecting and keeping any lymphocytes which would respond to any other self antigen there. Now, also under adaptive immunity, <clears throat> you can see there's two different types, humoral and cell mediated. Humors is an old anatomy term that means fluids of the body. Well, if you look at what part of adaptive immunity is in the fluids of the body, well, it's the antibodies. And remember, those are made by B plasma cells. So again, adaptive immunity is lymphocytes. That's your Bs and Ts. Well, the Bs go with humoral Im immunity and the Ts go with the cell mediated. Look at this table here that compares the N8 and adaptive. Look what you see as far as the cells of N8. Look what you've got here. All your white blood cells except lymphocytes. Look over here under the adaptive in the center and on the right. There are your lymphocytes and there's your two big groups, Bs and Ts. So here's N8 white blood cells here. Here's your adaptive right over here. Of course, most all these cells are mature, mature in the bone marrow, but remember those T cells have got to stop at the thymus gland. That gland will decide which ones to keep and which ones to destroy. When you look at these cells of innate immunity, <clears throat> they're producing these chemicals you hear about on TV commercials, histamines, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, and so on. They cause allergies, generally through vasodilation and increasing vascular permeability. Again, the B cells, many develop into B plasma cells, that's where your antibodies come from, and the T cells like to produce cytokines. Again, here are the actions for the cells and the chemicals they make under N8, right, causing the inflammation and attracting the white blood cells to this area and stimulating to eat up and destroy things you don't want in the body. And then again with the B cells, the antibodies are primarily there for destroying extracellular antigens, right? Things that are going to be on the outside. And generally bacteria is largely what that applies to, that and the parasites, and of course toxins too. And then with the cell mediated T cells, here you get more of the intracellular antigens, looking more at viruses and tumors. And there's some overlapping, but that's largely how it's separated out. There's the links to the books there at the end.